Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. Oh, just got a whippet coming in, I think. So, um, hello Alice, can you come join us? Hello darling. Oh, look, we nearly matched Alice. Oh, come on, here. Can I move here? No, yes, no. Want some breakfast? Hang on, just going to feed my whippet. Back in a sec. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought she wanted some breakfast, um, but she doesn't, so. Okay. So I'm back with you. Um, sorry about the unusual start to do that video, but it is just me being me. Um, and thank you for your lovely comments on how you like that. Um, I'm back with you this week to talk to you again about, um, that's typical, I sit over here and the dog's gone over there, never mind. Um, talk to you about what I've been up to. Um, as I may have mentioned last week, I have been sewing up an absolute storm and I've just loved every moment of it. Um, I made a few things uh, a few weeks ago, if you remember the patina blouse, it didn't go so well. I made the Anthea Allen blouse, it didn't go so well. Um, now don't get me wrong, I learnt loads out of that, but um, I absolutely love it when an outfit does come together. Um, and I just had, I don't know, I've just genuinely been on fire in terms of knowing what fabric I want to use, what pattern I want to use, and this jacket is point in case of that. This is the Metro blazer, a Metra blazer, so I actually got it, I rarely print out the, the picture and put it on an envelope, that's super organized. Um, this was on offer a few weeks ago, um, so from Love Notion, sorry, and every Friday they do a, um, a pattern for $5. Um, you can also use the Tomcat Stitchery 10, I think it is, as a code. Uh, pop over to, to Whitney's channel, Tomcat Stitchery. She talks about, she, she releases a video every Friday with that offer on it. But obviously, if you are on Instagram or something, you see what offers they have. So the Metro Blazer came out, and I just love the styling of this. Naturally, I'm going to stand up in a minute and show you because I can't resist sitting down. I'm always cutting my head off and all that sort of stuff. But I'm just me being you, me and you are being you and I'll just have a chat with you. Um, and uh, uh, I love the styling of this. So you've got two options available. Let me come in a bit closer. So you've got um, what they call a shawl collar, which is this one here, which is what I've made. And then you've got this lovely wide, um, wide neck collar, I think it's called. And obviously the back is really simple. It's got beautiful um, sort of, they're, they're welt pockets, but they're sort of a fake welt, and it's a beautiful way to do it. And I have made it in this wonderful, check it out, Pontaroma, um, because it's um, a jersey, it's a stable jersey, or um, yes, yeah, sta stable knit is the word I'm looking for, pattern. Um, and look, 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 look how pucker that looks. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. And there's little videos that come on the pattern to tell you how to do it. These pockets are enormous because it's a facing on the inside. And it, basically the pocket is the whole of the facing. So absolutely giant. And I just had a vision in mind, which I explained a few weeks ago, um, that I'm, I'm not a massive animal print fan. Um, but as you'll see over the next couple of weeks, I have made a few animal print things. So I'll move over a bit and put some footage in here um, of me wearing this jacket and certainly a picture or something. I'm actually, in this picture, I'm going out to, um, some, to see Lord of the Dance. Oh my word, it was fantastic. Lord of the Dance is the Irish dancing um, made famous by oh i can't remember his name um why does my brain do that does your brain do that can't think of his name but anyway awesome uh, absolutely awesome it's gonna michael flat flatley is that right i think so um yeah he's a sensation but the, oh my word the dancing was fantastic i i wasn't going and then my friend's friend couldn't make it so she she asked a couple of us if we were available and I was lucky enough to be um, able to go. And I was, uh, this was the Friday night um, and I'm, I made this jacket and I know Whitney said the same. This jacket came together in a few hours. Literally is a, such a straightforward jacket to make. 
um, but I bought this Pontaroma from First for Fabrics. I have taken the last of it, obviously I don't know if they restock it. I literally took, I had a metre and a half, I think the jacket requires probably two metres, something like that. But I knew that I wanted to, um, to do the facings um, with black, I didn't want it to be all over. Um, leopard print because I thought that would be too much um, and then I decided to put cuffs on the inside so that when you turned the I hope you can see that when you turn the cuff over um, it was black so that you got these and then they obviously did the this little uh, the welt pocket so I just think that added a really nice sort of finish to it and I only ever intend to wear it literally with this outfit so I've got skinny black jeans on they're actually quite um, Oh, I thought these <laughs> I was me showing you my knees. I thought these were my ripped ones, which is what is in the picture. Because they're quite quite young and trendy. But actually, these are just my standard skinny jeans. Me showing you my knees for no reason whatsoever. Sorry about that. But I am super pleased. Hello, Lara. Are you gonna come and say hello? No, it's all going the whip it world. So too busy. Uh, Lara, don't eat Alice's food, please. All going the whip it world. Um. Ah, oh, I just love it. Isn't it awesome? I was. No point in me making something if I don't love it. Uh, if I can't share that with you, <laughs> then what's the point? So sorry to I'm not not like being big headed or anything. I just really love it, <laughs> and it is so comfortable because you're literally wearing, um, well, it's jersey, isn't it? So it's secret pajamas all the way. It the the construction of it is magic. As I said briefly, they actually provide when you buy the pattern. They also have links to um the construction techniques um and yeah so you basically the facing is all beautifully so the facing is also the collar if that makes sense so um yeah so that's all one piece and it's all beautifully enclosed using a burrito method um now um katrina from um sewing pins and needles um has done a sew along for this jacket um she does it pretty much to the book but she does explain some of the intricate parts really well so i did take the time before to, before i sewed it to actually watch that sew along and i also watched the links um provided by love nations because both of them made a brilliant sense but it is super quick um to make um now quick isn't a criteria of mine but i'm a really fast sewer um uh i've often said i wish i'd done i wish i'd knew many years like like when i was establishing my career that i was such a quick sewer but then i don't know what career i would have made out of that i'm not sure but yes yeah, so i i very ungarnishly just attached um I didn't, I didn't lengthen or shorten or anything like that. The, the, the sleeves. I literally just put a, a cuff on the inside, so that when you, um, when you fold it back, um, as I showed you before. So on both sides, there you can see. I just eyeballed it. Just literally eyeballed a, a piece of fabric and put it on there, so that when you have it on the right way out. Do do do. Who's that eating now, Laura? I hope that's not. Laura, stop eating Alice's food. Alice is so funny, my whippet. She doesn't eat in the kitchen. She'll only eat in the lounge. Uh, she's an ex-show dog, don't you know? So hence the, the food is in here with me. And Lara, who's the other whippet, is a bit of a walking, a walking eating machine. So, as most dogs are, but Alice is not. She likes to graze throughout the day, darling. So there you go. I turned it back and that's what creates that lovely um, little cuff detail. So that's make number one. Super, super happy with that. I'm going to stay in this if that's okay with you. Um, I know sometimes in some in some filming I change into the outfits, but today I'm just going to stay in this one because it's just lovely. So um, a few weeks ago I was sharing with you my, I think it was called Makes and Ideas for April. And I had so many ideas and I'm delighted to tell you that I have made all of those things hence why I'm able to um, share with you so many lovely makes over the next few weeks. And I have, I just, I'm in a really good place with my sewing, but actually I'm about to finish um, some Atelier Jupe dresses. Um, um, and I got a bit mad, I actually sewed two up, a, two from scratch, literally putting put together PDFs, cutting the fabric, making two dresses in one day. Uh, that was yesterday, but you won't see that for a number of weeks. Um, 
I'm going, and then today I've got planned to make four tops. Um, and the reason I mentioned that is because two of them are like this and take moments. But after that, I do need to stop sewing for a little while, I think. I say that, maybe, maybe not. But all of the fabrics that I want to currently work with will have been dealt with, um, including a number from my fabric stash, which is really satisfying. Um, so I'm just going to give myself a little break, I think. Um, but we'll see. And I'm going to France. I know I mentioned that last week, but it hasn't happened yet. So um, yeah, that's very soon. Um, literally a couple of days away now. Yay. Um, so last, uh, stop waffling, Cara. Just get on with it. <laughs> Honestly, one of another. I spoke about a lovely little top um, that I saw called um, the Emma Blouse. I think it's Tilda Designs. Um, if you type in Emma and then Tilda, to Emma Blouse by Tilda, it does come up and it is a free pattern. Out of the hundreds of, um, not hundreds, but many, many wonderful So Frugal, um, uh, so Frugal videos that I watched, this was one of the tops that really caught my eye. I'll put a, I'll put the screenshot of it there. It's a and I showed you the pattern piece for it. Literally, you've got a pattern piece that looks like an angel wing, um, and you literally cut two of those: one for the front, one for the back. Easy peasy, done. And I made it up using again a remnant of a fabric that's been in my in my stash for a really long time. I recently made the pearl cardigan out of this fabric and you were all very kind because I wasn't sure that it really suited me um, but you were very kind and said that it, it was lovely um, and I made I had the, genuinely had the smallest piece of fabric left um, and I made what I would consider a wearable toile um, of the Emma blouse and I've got to tell you I think this is probably just like I said about my trousers last week I think probably now this is my go-to top um, pattern for tops because it is amazing this took me I'm gonna say this took me 20 minutes to make if it was longer than that I would be really surprised because it's literally um, <clears throat> there's a side there's a shoulder seam and it's probably about that big on either side front and the back are the same which I'll talk to you about in a moment and then I didn't complicate things at all, obviously you put the side seams together. I didn't complicate things at all and I literally overlocked the edge because, <coughs> excuse me, on such a drapey fabric, trying to hem that, and, and it's a beautiful curve, it's a beautiful, I'm not sure you're going to see that, it's a beautiful subtle curve, I thought, do you know what, I'm not going to make my life complicated, I'm just going to find the, the, find the most suitable um, matching overlock thread. And just overlock the edges which is what I've done and I'll put a picture in here I love it I absolutely love it I feel amazing in it which is um, it's not always an objective I would you object objective verb I don't know a descriptive language that I would use you can tell I didn't do a level English or even pass I did pass my GCSE English which is a long time ago um, but I absolutely love it the only change I made is that when I originally made the top, um, you just literally fold over the edge. So if, if you like finishing edges and things, this isn't the top for you because it's not constructed like that. It's not got a like a binding or anything. You literally fold over the top edge. So the top edge was too high for me. It was really, really uh, uh, on me, not least because I've got a thyroid, um, big thyroid here. So I then went back in and I literally, very unglamorously, just turned it over again, which lowered it. Um, you see that? That's just lowered it by that amount, and that made all the difference. So on future makes, I've I've already cut. Um, I can't remember if I've actually made. No, I think I think yeah, that's what certainly what I did for this one. I'm just thinking because I've actually shaped a change on on the pattern piece but i can't remember if i've made another one yet i hope it comes out all right because i've cut out I, I like it this much that i've actually cut out another three already uh, which is not really like me but it's such a quick make so i'm a minerva blogger um and um they've just released sort of core fabrics and i've never worked with ity before um which is a jersey a very lightweight jersey and it turned up yesterday 
very flimsy I've got to say but it this this pattern I think requires looks best with a lot of drape so I've just cut out another one and also a black one because I just think they're going to be such a staple piece in my wardrobe I've also taken a chance um, and used because I've made this I've cut out sorry the sage brush top out of my silky monkey fabric which I talk about every week um, that it has been cut out and I use the remnant of that to make one of these although it's doesn't I don't know if it says this is a jersey or a woven pattern I thought I'd just chance my arm to be honest because I like the fabric so much that I didn't want to throw it away and this takes the smallest amount of fabric um, so I'm not going to be able to make a top really other than this maybe so let's hope that works out because I've cut it out already um, but yeah absolutely amazing um, genuinely I I'm sure I've put a picture up here already but I love it so one to one to download for you guys um, because it's you know when I've got no issue with my arms whatsoever but I am conscious that um, you know as I get older probably I, I do feel a little conscious sometimes of having my arms out I don't know it's a new phenomenon for me I've never really experienced it before but this this beautiful flutter sleeve here just gives enough coverage it is quite um, open here under the armpit so if that's something you're an area you're conscious of then you might just want to be aware of that um, but yeah it's not it's no big deal it's the same, if you have a sleeveless outfit on you get to see your armpit and that's but I'm not saying you see your armpit it's just that if you lift your arm up obviously you've just got a floaty sleeve here and therefore there is um, visibility of your armpit um, so that was my other thing I wanted to talk to you about this week and then as I mentioned in, um, previously the Easter weekend oh my word the weather was fantastic it was just I think it was hotter here than it was in Ibiza um, and, and actually a friend of mine went to Morocco and it was 15 degrees there and it was 19:20 here and I was sunbathing so naturally when I'm sunbathing or whether the weather when the weather is really nice what does one want to do one wants to make swimwear we just think to yourself, Cara, just go relax in the sun, in the sun, and just enjoy yourself. But my brain's going, oh, you've always wanted to make a single layer swimming costume. So when you make swimwear, um, as you'll know, as a seamstress, you generally speaking do it with a lining, um, so that when you turn it through, all of your seams look lovely, um, or that when you turn the edge over, um, yeah. So the the Megan Nielsen Cottesloe, I think it's called. Um, the Sandpiper, which is one of my favourites, and my, my most recent favourite, Superstar bra, um, and the Waime Rashgard shorts, are all double thickness um, swimwear. Um, for lots of reasons, stability, um, seam finishes, etc. Which is all beautiful, never had an issue before. But as a hot tub goer, might have mentioned that, um, it means I'm wearing my swimwear a lot. Um, and it really frustrates me. It's two things that frustrate me. One is it takes forever to dry because it's not, well, I'm, I've got lycra fabric obviously, but it's not, um, sometimes it's not like sports lycra, it's the matte lycra I can buy from um, Tear Night Fabrics, for example. It just takes a little bit longer to dry than a standard swimming costume. And um, my husband's sh shorts, for example, they just dry in no time at all, but it can be like the end of the day, literally, two days before my swimwear is is dry um obviously if I'm putting it on the line or in the tumble dryer or something I don't tumble dry my um clothes anyway but it would dry but I'm just talking leaving it in the bathroom and that sort of thing so I thought you know what I would really like to hang on a sec my dog is what is my dog doing my dog is looking like she's jumping up a wall hmm that's interesting sorry she's literally She's a bit of a bouncy dog, so I just want to make sure she's not doing anything daft. Um, so swimwear, single skin swimwear. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to have a go and see how swimwear would come out if I just single skin it. Um, now, it's a bit of a risk factor because um, I've I've had moments before where you, you single skin. If you're trying to put um, elastic on the edge of uh, lycra, it can stretch out especially around your bum is what I found in the past and that's absolutely what happened with me so let me show you I really like the Waimei Reshgaard shorts um, ordinarily they have um, 
they've got little pockets in which is a bit strange but that's the design feature of it and it's all created by panels so you've got the you've got a the, the lining on the inside which is obviously the shape of a pair of pants essentially or shorts front and back and then ordinarily you'd put two panels in fact there's more than two panels isn't there which is probably why it takes so so long to dry you've got the little pocket um which is two layers so you've got three layers essentially there and then the front panel is the front and the lining so two 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 layers it's a beautiful construction really simple but i thought to myself you know what just make just make a pair of shorts oh, they're not shorts really they're actually bikini that is not a pair of bikini but that's the top silly woman right so make yourself just a front and a back hey presto front and a back um just leave them as a single skin and then put the elastic the elastic in in the leg holes and see how it comes out the waistband is always going to be double thickness because that's just how a waistband is made and it's not yeah overall it would have been a lot less fabric so i set about doing that and it was a bit of a mess i've got to be honest because i turned the edge over um i was as light as a feather as i could be but it bagged out um, and therefore I had a wibbly wobbly bottom. The front looked great. I thought nailed it, excellent, turn around, and I've got a, a sort of a, a wibbly bit on my bum. And I was like, oh, and this fabric I love. This is actually came from Rainbow Fabric, sold this last year. They don't sell it now. It was a sort of a dead stock lycra, if you like. And I actually bought this from a D stash. I think I bought it from Helen, um, from uh, So Stitch Repeat. Oh, I forget, I, I've not got that quite right. No, I only had a, maybe about a meter and a half of this, something like that. Um, so that was a disaster. I was thinking, oh no, because I, I don't have a lot, I didn't have enough really to cut out another set of bottoms. I was so cross with myself. So then I thought, fold it over, um, it's a double thickness if you like, and see if that works. Um, but no, stretched out too much. I thought, right, this is make or break time on these. I'm going to literally have to cut off what I've just sewn because you can't really unpick um, zigzag in plastic, um, stretch elastic, you know, swimwear elastic. You can, but not on the size of the zigzag I'd used. So I was super cross with myself, getting a bit stressed, sun was shining, just wanted to be outside, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, okay, just do it. So obviously I've then cut off um, the, the, the elastic it was make or break time. I'm thinking, okay, so this is do or die, do something different. And then I remember, um, I think they're called the Wonder Undies, um, which is a pattern, I think, from Waves and Wild. Um, and they do bands instead of elastic. And I thought, right, I'm going to give that a go. And I eyeballed it. I literally, I measured around the leg hole from the pattern um, of, of the, uh, the Waimu Rash Guard shorts. And then I eyeballed a, I think I made it two inches so that it was just less than an inch. I don't really know why I talk in inches because I don't reuse really inches, but that's that's easier for people to understand, I think. Um, so I eyeballed it and I cut, um, I eyeballed it. And I think I just, I literally cut maybe five centimeters less than the original length of the um, ceramic <clears throat> the perimeter of the, the the leg hole. I hope I'm making sense here. Um, and then I sewed it in. I literally sewed it in. And so effectively, it's the same principle as the waistband, isn't it? So the waistband is literally a big band, folded in two, stitched on. And then I did the same for the leg holes. And I am absolutely delighted with the result, I have to tell you. I'm really pleased um, because it is my favourite shape. Um, uh, me and weight gain are an interesting thing. I don't, I don't mind the shape of my body at all, but my tummy is, it's, I, don't know, I don't know what happens to it, but it's some days it's very big because it's quite bloated and other days it's okay. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. And I'm gonna show you a picture in a minute because then I made the Superstar bra. Now, I'm a big chested lady. I tend to mention that at least once in every film I make. <laughs> Apologies. Um, and finding a bra that is, uh, well, a, a bikini, if you like, that is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
substantial enough for my um, boobage is an interesting thing. And I discovered a few months ago now that the Superstar Bra by Waves and Wild is such a bra. Now, I couldn't go running in this. I would knock myself out. Um, and probably I'd have people falling in the streets in shock um, of the gravity of what's going on when I'm moving. But it is absolutely enough for me to be in my hot tub or to go swimming or just generally sunbathing etc so i am beyond delighted to tell you that i cut out single skin only and i then thought to myself just see what it's like without any elastic in it because i'm always we're always trained aren't we or ingrained in us to put elastic in in order to create that tension my body's got enough tension in it as it is, as it is I discover. So it's really difficult to show you because it's all crossover and everything. So at this point, I'll put a picture in. So that you basically got, this is upside down, so you've got a, a, a band here. And I need to remember to half the size of this band because all it does is sort of rolls up because of where my waist sits. But I absolutely love this. So let me put a picture in here. Because I was saying to you, wasn't it, there's two things that, that bug me. One, they take so long to dry. I didn't get around to telling you number two. Number two is when you're sitting in a hot tub and you've got the bubbles on, the air gets trapped into the two layers of the lining and the outer and it inflates, which is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I feel like um, uh, Kenny, Kenny Everett um, in that episode many years ago where he blows his trousers up um, to be Rod Stewart, um, if you think I'm sexy. In fact, ironically, he's in an outfit like this. Um, some of you will remember that. Some of you will be like, I have no idea what you're talking about at that stage. But anyway, I'm Dolly Parton-esque at the best of times, although you can't see that in this particular outfit. And when my swimming costume is literally blowing up with air, it's hilarious. So, single skin, A, dries much quicker, B, doesn't blow up with air, um, and C, works a treat. So I am delighted because I still have quite a bit of swimwear fabric left and I've been waiting for the um, opportunity to make the right bikini. So the picture, if I haven't already put it in, is here. Apologies in advance. You see a lot more of you, me than you might want to, but it's just me. I'm in a swimming costume. I love it. I feel really comfortable in my body in it. Um, despite the same changing shape of my tummy. But we all have tummies, it's a, it's a thing, and everybody is a different size, and what size is normal anyway? Just, yeah, so there you go, that's me in a swimming costume. So, what do you need to go with a swimming costume? Well, and, and this fabric, and this fabric, been in my stash for a really long time. Um, hello, darling, you gonna come up and say hello? You gonna come and say hello, hello, beautiful. Got a sneezing whippet just here. You can see her nose there, I think. Hello, glorious girl. You gonna come and sit up here? No, nope, too busy. Got things to do, places to sniff. Just walking around in circles now. Come on then. Yay! Hello, darling. How are you? you want to say hello to everybody. Not there. Look. Mm -hmm. How are you, Stinky Blinky? Are you good? Yeah. Love you. I'm gonna talk about beach wrap next. Do you want to stay? No. <laughs> so, another piece of fabric I've had in my stash a long time is this. Um, I bought this from Itoki Fabrics, which is the most brilliant Indian um, website. They sell one of everything on that site, not least amazing fabrics. And their service is fabulous. It comes literally from India. Um, I, I have a video, it's my most watched video. In fact, it's the video that I'd say has gone viral um, on my account, it's had 57,000 views, I think. Um, and it's quite early days in my filming, so it's very genuinely me. Um, it always is. But, um, but anyway, I bought this fabric then and haven't used it. But I, even in that video, I think, I explained to you that I was going to make the Ravello. Um, it's funny that I talked about that dress twice, isn't it? Because that's... Oh, oh, no, that was last week. Because um, I made the Ravello wrap dress using a particular fabric that I... Least, so the Ravello wrap dress, you can make it full length, which is obviously maxi. You can make it knee length into a cute little dress. And you can also make it into a beach wrap, but also a wrap over top. So it's a really versatile pattern. And I knew all along that I wanted to make, use this fabric to make a Ravello wrap for the beach. Um, and that's exactly what I did. 
And this was all in, uh, so I was on holiday, that's what it was. I was thinking it was a weekend, but I was on holiday. My husband was making an amazing shed, so I couldn't help him with that. So I'm not allowed to touch the DIY stuff. The weather was absolutely stunning. My daughter was out and I thought, oh, I'm going to go and make a wrap um, dress thing. Because actually when I get out of the hot tub to be able to put something on like this, and it was that warm that I needed to cover my skin a little bit. So that's what I did. And this is what it looks like. So beyond delighted about that set. Um, it is a little bit of a strange fit, the Ravello wrap dress, I'm not going to lie. There's a, there's a pleat um, that sits here on both sides. And that makes it sit sort of on the bias. Um, you can see in the picture, it's it sort of hooks over a little bit. It's sort of a blousy effect on me anyway um, for for the Ravello wrap. Um, but I absolutely love it. And definitely can see me using this a lot. I reckon I probably could get out of the hot tub and just put this straight on and sit in and sit and dry in this, if that makes sense. So yeah, beyond beyond delighted with these makes um yeah the, the blazer the beautiful emma blouse the swimming uh, bikini single skin which is i haven't worn any of the others since i made this one so definitely that's the way to go and then a wrap to go over the top of it which i think you can see in the picture um, that i put in so really what an amazing set of things I've made and I hope you've enjoyed seeing that. Um, I've got a, um, at least one more of this style of, um, of conversations to have with you so I hope you're enjoying it. If you want to see more of my life um, on a regular basis then please do pop over and follow me on Instagram at so so mad which I'll put on the screen now um, and yeah I'll be back with you hopefully in about a week or two um, for another installment. So until then take Take care, uh, stay safe and well. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.